Off today, I'm Crystal Palka reporting from the National Weather Service here in Teton, where they've been dolphin watching for days now. As of 3 p.m. this afternoon, Governor DeCalvo with Joint Region Marianas put place Guam in condition of readiness three. And I'm here with warning coordination meteorologist Chip Gard, who's basically his job is to tell us whether or not Typhoon Dolphin is going to be a hit or miss. So, Chip, what is the latest as of the 5 p.m. advisory? Well, the latest is it's located about uh, 750 miles east-southeast of Guam. Uh, it's moving toward the uh, west-northwest, which is right toward us at about 8 miles an hour. And uh, it's expected to uh, reach its closest point of approach sometime uh, Friday, uh, late Friday afternoon or Friday evening. Uh, right now, the current track takes it just on the southern tip of Guam. But uh, it's 36 hours away, and that can change. Uh, several of our models indicate that it might go uh, as far north as the Rota Channel. So, uh, you know, that's over an area of maybe 75 miles. That's a very good forecast for 36 hours. So, uh, so just keep in mind right now we're going to treat this as a direct hit. And uh, it's currently got a... Uh, got 80 mile an hour winds in it and uh, we're looking for winds uh, maybe as high as 110 miles an hour right now. Now that's uh, that's like a Typhoon Chaba for example. And uh, But we'll watch this thing really close because it could uh, intensify uh, even further. Right now it's uh, the, the core of the storm is a fairly small and compact. That is where the uh, the maximum winds are. However, the peripheral winds, the damaging winds, extend out quite a distance. Uh, in the northeast uh, semicircle, they uh, extend out 140 miles. So uh, we're going to start feeling the effects uh, maybe Thursday night, uh, certainly uh, early Friday morning. And then uh, as the uh, Friday progresses, uh, da uh, destructive winds probably pick up uh, close to uh, uh, late morning and then the uh, typhoon force winds uh, early afternoon and that's uh, that's basically the latest track on it and but like I said it could change and right now we're treating it as a direct hit so is this the calm before the storm outside it was sunny it was very hot today well it's a long way off 750 miles away uh, it will we will see the calm before the storm and uh, frequently as the storm approaches the weather gets really nice because outside the storm, the air is sinking, and that generally evaporates a lot of the clouds, so uh, we don't get such uh, such bad weather.